Hi everyone, it's Jenny here from Nottingham Physio. Hope you're all staying safe in the lockdown and keeping active with the exercise classes that Johnny, Valentina and Paulina have been doing. Today we're going to start our balance exercise class series. We're going to do six sessions over the next few weeks. So today, session number one, we're going to start nice and easy and then build up the difficulty over the next few weeks. So just do what you can, make sure you've got some water. Um, it's only going to be a five to six minute session, so it won't be too strenuous, but what it's going to do is going to really help to improve your balance. So we're mainly aiming this at the over 65s to help prevent falls and maintain strength in the lower body. But if you're an athlete and you need to improve your balance, then this could be something worthwhile doing as well. Okay, so we're going to get started. So I'm going to just move back. Hopefully you'll be able to see me. Okay, and we're going to do each second, each exercise for five rounds, ten seconds. Okay, so I'm going to do the timing. Okay, the first exercise is going to be feet really close together, hands on your hips, ten seconds, go. Okay, so you're really going to try and squeeze all the muscles in your lower body. And we've got four, three, two, one. Okay, and we have a few seconds rest. And then we're going to go again. Okay, hands on hips, feet as close to zero as you can get them. And go. Okay, if you're struggling and you've got a chair, can hold on to the chair slightly but try and keep your hands on your hips as much as you can three two one and have a hold on to the chair and we'll get going again okay squeeze all those muscles keep going you're doing really really well okay five four three two one and rest okay we've got two more so feet as close together as you can for me three two one good okay keep it working we've only got one more after this lovely feet together nice and close and hold it there one more time five seconds Feet nice and close together again. Go. Good. Okay, three, two, one. There we go. Okay, next exercise, we'll have a little break. I'm going to demonstrate and then we'll get going. You're going to need a little bit more space for this one. So we're going to go hands on hips again. We're going to start on the edge and we're going to go side step close, side step, close, side step, feet together, feet together. Okay, and again, we're going to do it for 10 seconds, five rounds with a little bit of a rest in between. So whenever we're ready, three, two, one. And as close together as you can for me at all times. Try and keep feet close together when you close them and hold it there. Okay, if you're struggling with this, you can do slightly smaller steps or you can hold on to the wall or hold on to a chair. Okay, we're going to go again and go. So if you're struggling, make sure you always bring the feet back together, but just take smaller steps if you're struggling with really big steps. Okay, two more and hold it there. Two down, three to go. Okay, three, two, one. Side step and close. Good. Keep working. We've got four seconds left. Keep working. And hold it there. Well done. Two more. Keep it working. We've just got one more exercise to do after this, and then that's exercise class number one finish. Are we ready? Three, two, one. Hands on hips. Open, close. Good. We're just getting used to transferring our weight from one leg to the other. Keep it going and hold it there. Good. We've just got one more to do. 
Okay, three, two, one. Last time. If you're getting a little bit more confident now, you can make your steps a little bit bigger. I'm just going to do one each side, just so I can stay on the screen. And hold it there. Good, really well done. Grab yourselves a drink if you need to, have a little break or pause the video. And now we're going to go into some double leg calf raise balances. So you will need probably a chair for this or up against the wall. And we're going to just put our feet nice and close together, go up onto our toes slightly, hold for 10 seconds and then rest again. Okay, we're going to do that five times for 10 seconds and then we're almost finished. Okay, whenever you're ready, three, two, one, up onto the toes and hold the balance. If you can not hold on to anything, that's even better. You can put your hands on your hips, but if you need to, you've got the wall or the chair there for support and rest. Okay, I'm just going to do it from the front this time so you can see what's going on from the front. Three, two, one. So up onto our toes, we're keeping the heels nice and close together, squeezing the bum cheeks, squeezing the quads, squeezing everything together to keep ourselves nice and stable and rest. Two down, three to go. So have five seconds rest. And then we'll go again. Ready, go. So up onto the toes, hold it there, really squeeze. Try not to hold on to anything if you can. Good. And hold it there. Two more, almost there. Okay, are we nearly ready? Three, two, one. Up onto the toes. Okay, if you can balance without holding on to anything, keep going, really nice, and hold it there. Good, one more time. Three, two, one, up onto your toes. The higher up onto your toes that you go, the more difficult this is going to be. So if you want to challenge yourself or you're finding it a little bit too easy, then just go up as high up onto your toes as you can and hold it there. Okay, so that's three exercises and an introduction to balance training. They will get progressively harder through each week. If you want to work on this between now and next week when the second class is, um, goes live, then that's perfectly fine. It will help you to build up that tolerance and build up to the next progressions in the next class. So keep going with it. You can do it every day if you want to. You can add it onto the routines that Johnny, Paulina and Valentina are doing. Or you can just do it for something to do in the middle of the day. Okay.